Welcome back to another round of Hey, What Did We Miss? The Young IPA Quiz. We have a absolutely loaded mm. quiz today. So we've got Dr. Bella Debrera, two-time champion, going for a third. Hopefully. Hopefully. Good. Good attitude. All right, Director of Communications, Emil Holland. He's He has been pumping his tyres up all mm. week. He thinks he's going to come in I thought I win. walked in here for looking forward, and now I'm in <laughs> yeah, the quiz. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Pete, Roof Seal, thank you for dressing up for the occasion. Thanks, uh, mate. Today's my day. <laughs> the people are looking at home. Today's yep. my day. All right, so uh, Evan, you are new to the program, and uh, so just in case you haven't seen, or if there's anyone watching at home or listening at home that hasn't seen, so one point for any correct answer, one point for an incorrect answer, and so yeah, one point off for an incorrect answer. Yep. And the buzzers are your own first name. Sorry, Bella? Bella. Quick buzzer check. Yep, Evan? Evan. Evan, like it? Jeez, <laughs> that was intense. That's a man that's, that's really come he's here, to, he's here to win, mate. His job is he IPA really is. spinner. His job is to keep charge of the media, Look, so he knows. knows the news, it's Evan. Yep. And I forgot me. to draw up a scoreboard, and so <laughs> thank okay. you for batting that's for what, me. That's thank what Bob was doing just then. Yep. Uh, and... and Roof, roof. Roof, roof. Okay, cool. This is the right. famous advertisement. <coughs> so uh, do we have any more questions? There's going to be nine questions and then a who am I at the end. We also Ooh. have an audio question, which uh, Ooh, Saul wow. has been working away at in the studio. So thank you very much uh, you to go. Muska. All right, so question one. Uh, the police expected 10,000 protesters in the CBD on Friday night for extinction. Evan. Oh. Oh. What's the answer? What's it? Uh, <laughs> Geelong Collingwood. No, that is uh, MCG. That's, uh, not what was the so question? You've roof, come roof. In very roof, roof. Three hundred and fifty. No, nah, that's incorrect. Damn. <laughs> oh, how many? How many actually rocked up? Well, who knows? Bella, <laughs> Bella oh, do you want to? One hundred and fifty. Uh, well, the answer was going to be what was the closest number? Uh, how many turned up closest to gets it? And that was Bella because a hundred people turned up. Uh, sorry, Bella, off into the positives. And, there you go. And the early buzzers, they give and they take it away. <laughs> well, I knew the question. I just didn't know the answer. All right. Well, so thank you for chiming in. <laughs> well, I didn't it's not know. Jeopardy. Didn't know. You don't win points by guessing the question. I didn't it's know. I didn't know the answer until you said it was wrong. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. So second question. How much money did Dr. Peter Reid receive? Bella. Oh, I think Bella. Bella, yeah. Bella, yeah. 1.2 million. 1.2 million is the correct answer from his legal battle with here James we, Cook University. Here we go again. All right. Here Bella, we go again. Bella's secret is incredible, fi- uh, incredibly quick yeah. buzzer and knowing I don't really punish people for taking too long with the answers. <laughs> she, hey, I said the answer really quickly. You did that time. She knows the answers and she answers quickly. Yeah. That's okay. the key. All right. Uh, third question. <laughs> Which state is at the center of the Trump versus CNN? Roof, roof. Roof, roof. Alabama. Alabama yes, is the Alabama. correct answer. All right, so score check. Bella is on two. Peter is on zero, making up that oh, negative. And Evan is on negative one. <laughs> oh, no. I was like, <laughs> yes. I know. Uh, um, we've never had someone finish in the negatives before. So oh, no. I'm, I'm sure we can. We're getting pretty worried. Come on, Spinner. All right, next question. Uh, which battle happened on this date in 490 BC that spurned the name of a track and field event? Pretty good question. Good question. Right? Oh, I good like question, that James. question. Wow. Sorry, uh, battle 490 event. PC. Uh, oh, um, roof, 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 marathon. Correct. Oh, yes. Good. Oh, good. I'm actually disappointed oh, I took that long to get that one right. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> so like the what else would it be? <laughs> the battle of the 100 meter sprint. Yeah. <laughs> Not going well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Sorry, Rafael Nadal just won the US Open. How which uh, how many Grand Slam tournament wins does this make? Roof, roof. Yeah. Roof, roof. 19. It is correct. Oh, my God. Pete is... Well, Paul's giving me two it. sport ones. <laughs> this is going to be it. <laughs> what is it? Are we two all now? Uh, it is two, two, and then uh, negative one. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, though. I, I back Evan in the Who Am I? Just okay. as a little teaser. Ooh. There you go. So you can still uh, win a lot. Added pressure. Oh, we're coming up to the audio question. So, uh, pretend, all right. So this is the audio question. Which British rock star from the 1960s came out in support of Brexit this week roof, by roof. saying this? Oh, just let me throw to it. You can come, <laughs> you've got it after we throw to it. The people voted and, you know, they have to get on with it. And I, suddenly it's like, oh, well, we don't like that vote. And I, what do you mean you don't like that vote? You had the vote. This is what won. Let's get on with it. Okay, Pete, give it to us. Ringo Starr. Ringo Starr is correct. Boom. Uh, that is another one for Pete. I recognise that voice from the Thomas the Tank Engine cartoons. Very good point. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay, next question. So which proportion of the Australian workforce are members of a union? Roof, closest roof. to it gets it. So closest to it gets it. Roof, oh, roof. Um, 14%. Is it private sector workforce? This or? is all workforces. 13%. 14? 13? 15. 15. Bella gets it. Oh! It's 14.6. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 14.6. <laughs> What, are we doing That's, decibels? Yes, we are. 
nice. You got that last time, right? You got that. Right. The private sector workforce is like eight yeah. points. It is, it is, but uh, unfortunately, no oh. points for Evan. Oh, All right, sorry, score fun. check. Pete is on three. Bella is on three. Negative one, Evan. Oh. Did you we take a point <laughs> off for me? Sorry? Did you take a point off for me? No, uh, no it's as close as two gets it. So we're all good. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm the genius here. Uh, I think this is going to come down to another Pat Hannaford, Hail Mary, five-point <laughs> guess, and we'll see what happens. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Oh my All God. right. Uh, this is one of my favourite weeks of the entire year. The NFL football has returned. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the name. We need to get Bella off the show. <laughs> Bella's just, <laughs> just going to have a quick nap while the rest of you name three teams. From what, sorry? Just name three NFL teams. Oh, um, Roof Roof. Roof Roof. Buffalo Bills. Like this one. Green Bay Packers. Two. Uh, New England Patriots. No, oh, yeah, so I thought you said New York for a second, but no, that is correct. Pete's got it. All right, sorry. <laughs> no, no. Uh, what fraction of the House of Commons does Boris Johnson need to be able Bella. to call an election? Bella. Two thirds. Two thirds is correct. I knew it. Jeez. All right. See, she's quick. So, she's very quick. Who am I? Four points for Pete, four points for Bella, negative one for Evan. We could have a three way tie if, if you... Evan gets the five pointer. Then oh. Here's the thing I haven't got a tiebreaker <laughs> question. <laughs> we have no infrastructure for a tiebreaker. <laughs> so, Evan, while it would be awesome for the show if you got this, Can you not? don't get it. <laughs> We'd have to make Okay, up. Uh, who am I? I celebrated my 68th birthday on Monday. Oh, my God. All right, think out loud. It's better for an audio format. <laughs> that was me thinking out loud. Evan. Evan. He's going to get it. He's going to tie it up. This could be it. I'm so prepared for this to be Bill it. Bill Clinton? Oh, no, I'm sorry, oh. Evan. Oh. All right, four points. I first entered, entered Parliament in 1984. Any takers? Oh, you, you can come back parliament. in. You, sorry? Well, no, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, three points. I led my party for seven months across 1994 and 1995. Evan. Evan. Alexander Downer. It is Alexander oh, Downer. Oh, well done. So well, it's no, still a no, tiebreaker. It's, <laughs> it's still four four two. So I don't have any fair <laughs> questions. Why don't Should we just, just declare us both winners? And no, come back both we need one winner. I specifically said back. in the email that three would enter and one would leave, and I need one to leave. Well, could you think of a question or something? Uh, how about a rock paper scissors? Oh. That's what they usually do. Oh, oh I've got a question. Okay, Evan's got okay, a question. Yeah, right. um, oh my god. Pressure. Oh no. Sorry. Oh no. <laughs> Fritz is also on Evan. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, who spectacularly uh, overnight announced their resignation from Bella. the cap up? Oh, my God. John Burkow. Yep. All right, Bella's got a three-time champion. Bella wins what again. What is that, Evan? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you, who, where did Melbourne finish in 1987 would have been appropriate. <laughs> who top scored the Ashes? It would have been all over. No, I was very lucky with the questions there, so I think Bella deserves right. her third victory in a row. Yes, very good. All right, well, so sorry, ret- uh, three-time champion Bella taking on all comers. Thank you very much to Evan and Pete for playing along. Getting better. Getting better. (laughs) All right, cool. And we'll do the quiz again next week.